Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are scoping out places that we can ride our horse this winter. So in order for us to take our horses on a trail system, we need to be able to bring our horse trailer and we need to be able to park and turn around. So we don't know how that is gonna work at any trail system. So we're checking it out and we brought the dogs and so we're gonna take them for a little walk, see what the footing is like and figure out if this little trail that we found is gonna work for us. Oh. Hold on, you're on a leash. All right. Molly. Hey, get your dog. <laughs> we have not. We have not been on a trail in a long time. She is not <laughs> The dogs are not, not so good at it. <laughs> There's people. Hi. All right, so this is the trail, and we've actually been on this trail before. This trail is close to where Sophie rides at the Pasofino farm. We ride on this trail. <laughs> we ride on this dog away from me. This is not going well. I can't film and make my dog behave at the same time. Ruby, behave. Anyways, we ride on this farm, or we ride on this trail with our horses, with the Pasofinos, but they're way down there. It says, use trail at your own risk. So clearly this is like, a snowmobile trail. Get your dog. Do you think dad could drive the trailer on this trail though? All right, we got things under control Hold on now. Your ear. Okay. It is actually glorious out here. I have no idea where winter went, but in Canada, we never get weather like this. It's minus six degrees. This week is supposed to be above freezing, but there is ice. It's just that it's been so sunny. Trail like days ago. Why? Which we don't usually let the deaf dog go because it's hard to get her back. <laughs> don't go down there. Don't go in the water. It's just like, Are you crazy? Look at the sun though. It's glorious out here. There, there are actually farms all along this trail. I love it. Daisy is so good at walking on a leash. Daisy is really good at walking on a leash. She, Normally she's not. Normally she's too excited. She's learning. Do you know that the puppies are almost three years old now? Uh, Molly's gonna be, yeah, Molly's gonna be three on, in March. A sunny day, but it's cold outside. The tingles in my heart. Do you guys remember when we first got Molly and she was a border collie and people were like, the ice just broke. And people were like, don't get a border collie, you're gonna regret it. They have so much energy. And they do, yeah, they do have a lot of energy. But I always thought Daisy was gonna be a perfect farm dog. Yeah. yeah, and so anyways, we got her. It was always Sam's dream to have a border collie. And we got her and she fits us. Her energy is perfect for our family. And because every time we open the door for her to go to the bathroom, she has so many places to run. And she, she works at her, and she's able, She's able to work at her energy on her own. <laughs> I think something probably fell from the from the tree. <laughs> and then we got Daisy and we thought she was gonna be the perfect farm dog. Is she the perfect farm dog? No, she hates the cold. <laughs> she hates when it rains, she hates when it snows. She hates the horses. She doesn't like to be dirty. She can't be dirty. She she doesn't like the electric fence. <laughs> She likes to go for walks as her outside dog. Yeah, like she'd be a perfect city dog. She'd be like the perfect pet for someone who lives in a house and likes to go for walks. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm obsessed. I think this is the perfect trail system. I just have to figure out how we would get our horse trailer down here so that we could ride. Being able to take the dogs for a long walk so they can explore and smell stuff and give all of us exercise. It's such a blessing. I'm gonna draw a line in the snow and we're gonna have a dog race. Do you guys know that when Gabby was little and Sophie, we took them to do uh, dog sledding? It was so fun. Okay, so the dogs are down there. Hope, hopefully I don't fall in this water. And we are gonna see who crosses the line first. Okay? 
On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on. <laughs> They're just running for fun. All right, so we just saw a four-wheeler go by, so I don't know how good that is for the horses. Daisy's the mascot. She's sitting at the... She's waiting for... Oh, she's sitting at the home gate. So I did this on my phone. I let them race, and they literally ran right into me, which was so rude. <laughs> she's like, whoa, what's happening? Okay. I think Molly's faster. Vote right now and see who you think is faster. On your mark. Get set. Come on! Molly wins. <laughs> Was it Molly? We'll have to do a photo finish. Now we got the Dalmatian and Ruby because Molly's not interested in racing. She's not a racing dog. She's a herding dog. Look how good she listens though. Gabby, Sophie just tells her to stay and her, all her friends are gone and she just stays there. Okay, hold on. All right, on your mark. Stay. 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 Yeah. the problem she just keeps wanting to go to the water and she will not like going in the water she actually does not like going in water I don't think we can do this trail Be yeah it's good for the dogs all right let's go let's go puppies so I definitely don't think that this trail is gonna work out for us because people drive on it with their snowmobiles and and their four-wheelers and stuff and I don't think that would be that big of a deal because they're not going to be idiots and like scare our horses and our horses need to get used to that kind of stuff so I don't know I'm going to talk about it with Sam but what do you guys think about this trail do you think it's a good one the footing seems perfect I like, I like the other one that we go on that's not a good one for horses though I like it for the dogs Mennonites go on here Mennonites go on here does your horse care about other horses? Probably. Does your horse care about four wheelers? No. Because we trained him good. <laughs> He's running on the road. Yeah. I just really want to find some place that we could go like regularly with our horses. And like the groomed trails that we went on this past summer or this past fall, they close for the winter. There's another dog. We found another dog. And Daisy barked at it. And we're like, whoa, can you hear that dog barking? Sophie thinks that she just saw the dog and then barked, but our dogs. She was looking around, like, what are we stopping for? I just saw the dog. Oh. Sophie says that she was looking around, like, why are we stopping? Saw the dog and then started barking. But she only barked for a few seconds, and our dogs didn't hardly even bark. She barked like Isn't that twice. impressive? With her, you can't tell her to stop barking. Yeah, you can't even tell her to stop barking unless she's like looking at you. And she has excellent recall. Excellent recall. I know in the past people have been saying like, yeah, you have to teach her recall. Like a bird or right, as long as she's not distracted, she comes on a dime when we call her with sign language. When she gets distracted though, she forgets to check in. Like if she sees a bunny right now, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Dead. She chases butterflies in the summer. Yeah, she chases leaves. When they're blowing around. Easy. She's like, I'm not. She's, she's like, can we go back to the car? I please? know. It's so weird. Come it's on. the one thing. Come it's. On. <laughs> Easy. We're <Right> here. <laughs> she's heavy. It's the one thing you? that she won't do. She does not like, absolutely no hates way. being in the barn. I don't know what her problem is. It's because she gets scared. Come on, let's go to the arena. And it takes her a long time to process things because she can't hear. Like that's the only bad thing about her is that she gets scared when she, like she gets scared. Like the other day she came down the stairs 
and the rug was gone. I have like this little rug at the bottom of the stairs and I was washing it and she, she came downstairs and the rug was gone and she screamed, jumped the last stair and ran into the living room and was like scared. Like it's just the weirdest thing. If anything in her environment changes, something that she doesn't understand changes, she gets scared. For a couple of days to get past it and then when she finally gets past it, she's good again. But she gets freaked out. Like that's the only weird thing. People say um, Dalmatians are neurotic and I don't know if it's like her it's just dog. being like... Cat. Yeah. Weird, or if it's a if it's a deaf thing, oh, or if it's a Dalmatian it's thing. Come on, you're good. There's no horses. We pushed all the horses outside. <gasps> oh, it sucks when they get fat in the winter. Oh, kisses. Hi, baby. So Can Sophie's going to start training no. honey <laughs> tomorrow with a lead rope. Right now, see, she's asking for treats. She's not, she's not in pain or she's not... I saw somebody on Instagram say, look at her ears are pinned back. She's in pain. But they do more with their ears. Like their ears are not always... She rolled. Just because her ears are back doesn't mean she's in pain or she's upset. She's asking right now. That's how she's asking us for treats. But look at how thick her hair is. The one thing that I really hate about winter is super hard to pick up the poop in the snow. You know how we train the, the horses to like push balls and go up on the tires and walk on the bridge and stuff? We should do it with the dogs. So I wanted to show you guys what's happening with my skulls. I told you that I'm gonna paint them. So right now they're white. I might paint this one black. And my per my goal for this is for me to like make it stay open, like make it stay open like this so that people can put their rings in it. I thought that would be like their jewelry in it or something. Make it like a jewelry holder. I'm thinking about painting it black and pink, but I'm not exactly sure what color. But see, it'll look like that and it'll be painted and cute. I'm not an artist, so don't laugh. I'm not an artist, so don't laugh at me. I'm just doing this for fun. <laughs> so on my bigger skull, this is a sheep skull, it's gonna hang up on the wall like this. So it'll be like, yeah, where are you it'll be like this. So I painted some flower, or I drew some flowers on there. I'm going to paint them, and then I'm gonna probably put some like, some vines coming down like the front of the skull and then maybe hang it in the barn or something if it actually turns out. But that is how far I've gotten. Don't you know that you're beautiful?